Point Fortune proudly stands as Trinidad and Tobago's smallest borough and home to our greatest industry, oil and gas. However, with the government's thrust for greater economic diversity, Point Fortin has shifted its focus towards supporting its smaller manufacturers and entrepreneurs. An investment forum held at Point Fortin's own Clifton Hill Beach Resort focused on the Southwest brand and what members of the Point Fortin business community could bring to the proposed localized economic development project. The project aims to develop a promotion and branding strategy for the commodities emerging from the region. It is in this context the Southwest LED project aims to stimulate investment, readiness and creating mutual understanding between investors and SMEs through deliberate intervention that impact both the supply and demand side of the target non-energy sectors with potential for growth in the region. Undoubtedly, this will enhance, leverage and create more value for sustainability. The project is fantastic. I'm looking for jobs, I'm looking for um, financing, but I need to get a motor vehicle. And I have a staff of seven presently, but I am more looking for jobs, like the different corporate entities, Atlantic, um, different banks, borrow, borrow days coming up. I'm looking to do their hospitality for borrow. And praise God for an LED, Southwest LED. It's At present, financing is very hard for small business. LED hopefully will be able to give us the opportunity to receive the type of funding, the type of coding, the type of assistance necessary for a small business such as ours to be able to be successful. And so we look at LED as a group for our community and for our business. Uh, I think on my companies that I represent has great benefits to derive from this Southwest LED, especially for the Point, for Point Coco Agricultural Cooperative. We are involved in aquaculture. Uh, we have a 42-acre pristine land that we want to develop into our eco park and also um, giving opportunities to young entrepreneurs to showcase what they can do within that period to sell products or produce that they have within the Point Coco Cooperative. From the Coco Board level, we really want to develop a Southwest brand, making chocolates and various other products from within the Coco, Coco Beans, so that we can represent Southwest. The local econ economic development committee is really pushing hard and I'm proud to be a part of that um, project so that we can ensure greater development for the Southwest. Cedrus has a very unique um, history behind it. And then we're not far from Venezuela. There's Soldado Rock, there are a number of mud volcanoes. There was once a US military base located in Cedrus. So there's a lot of opportunities for people who are in tourism, tourism and ecotourism. In the food industry, individuals will now be able to supply meals to tourists when they visit that area. And in the cocoa industry, people can now get into value added, doing chocolates and powder, um, various type of um, exhibits they can have for this project. So I'm, I'm saying there are a number of opportunities that we still have to explore for the development in this local economy. We, we really like to see it started uh, in some of the financial institutions, assist us with some finance, because in you know, an ever-growing business like ours, we need a lot of more finances to expand our business as it is presently, because um, we, we, we did do certain things, we thought that probably would have taken five or six years to reach the kind of goal we are now in. Right, which is about three years, and in some cases two years less. So we are, we are, what I'm saying is that we are growing that fast. We cannot wait for savings from our business to 
we will need to have finance coming and we need the cooperation of the private sector to assist our business with finance to grow as far as possible. Investors could look at, especially within the coconut industry, um, coconut oil, which is ranked as one of the best in the world. There are a number of coconut estates where that could be rehabilitated, bringing back um, natural um, cold pressed coconut oil. There's also the fishing industry. I think um, since there's a lot of drilling taking place within the coastline, um, mercury is there in the water. Aquaculture would be something great to develop within the Southwest Peninsula. And today, although uh, this part of the world is known um, and privileged as being known as the home of black gold as far as our local economy is concerned, I am, as Minister of Trade, Industry and Investment, particularly honoured to be able to speak with you this morning about government's plans with regard to certain of the sectors uh, of diversification which we're here to talk about, namely agriculture, tourism and uh, the fishing sectors, all of which have tremendous potential if looked at from a commercial perspective. What is it that generates investments in a country? What is it that generates, sorry, what is it that generates economic activity in a country? It is the investments and the only investments can either, investments can either come from the government through its public sector programs or it can come, and that is not sustainable, let me add, or it can come from the private sector as the engine of growth. And that's where it's important, as, is, as it is throughout the world, that small and medium-sized uh, businesses are the drivers, both in terms of creating the economic activity, creating jobs uh, for the people in certain areas. Trinidad and Tobago's Southwest Borough has been one rich with a history of industrialization. So it is fitting that the government of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago is focused on further developing the region by introducing the Local Economic Development Project. With this type of initiative and forward thinking, there is a strong belief that Trinidad and Tobago's Southwest Peninsula will continue to grow and attract investors ultimately aiding in the expansion of the local economy.